I'm Adil Kumar. Welcome to my series on calculus. We'll discuss how to find derivative with first principle using a cube root function. So the question for you is, use definition of derivative to find f dash x, that is derivative, for the function f of x, which is equal to cube root of x. We'll not only find this derivative using first principle, but we'll further explore and understand it better. So by definition, the derivative of the function f dash x is actually a limiting factor for the slope of the tangent line, taking any point in general x, h units away, right? So we write this as limit, h approaches zero, for f of x plus h minus f of x over h. Now what is important to understand here is that our point x is fixed, right? So if you look at this function, which will be sketched kind of like this, cube root function will look like this. Right, so, so what we are doing at present is we are considering any point x and another point which is very close to x, right? This is x plus h. So these are the two points. And we are saying that h is the distance between them is approaching 0. That means h is varying, it is coming closer and closer to x. Important to understand x is constant here, right? And the variable is h. Okay. Now, this can be written as limit h approaches 0. f of x plus h means replace x with x plus h. So we get cube root of x plus h minus cube root of x over h. Now we have a cube root difference here. We need to rationalize it. How do you rationalize a cube root? That is a big question, right? And that is probably the most difficult part here. So remember the formula a cube minus b cube? That can help. So, so we actually want a cube minus b cube, right? So the formula is a cube minus b cube is equal to a minus b times a square plus a b plus b square, right? So to rationalize, we need to multiply this difference by a square plus a b plus b square. Is that clear, right? So now the next step is to rationalize. So to rationalize, we'll multiply by a square plus a b plus b square, so square of this, right? So let's do it. We get limit h approaches zero. We have cube root of x plus h minus cube root of x over h, right? Now let's rationalize. So we are doing square of the first term, so we get cube root x plus h whole square, right? Plus product of these two, that means cube root x plus h times cube root of x plus square of this term. So we have cube root x square. So that is the expression you need to rationalize with, okay? So what we get here is same term in the denominator x plus h whole square plus cube root x plus h times cube root x plus square of cube root x. Now when you rationalize, you get difference of cube, right? a cube minus b cube. So now we can write this as limit h approaches 0. Difference of cube basically means you get x plus h minus x in the numerator and in the denominator you get h times all this 
So let me write h times all this, which is cube root of x plus h whole square plus cube root of x plus h times cube root of x plus square of cube root of x. Now in the numerator, x minus x is 0, so you get only the term h. We get limit h approaches 0. So we have h over h times all this, which is cube root of x plus h whole square plus cube root of x plus h times cube root of x plus square of cube root of x. Now you can cancel h and substitute h equals to 0 to get your derivative ex expression right so you now you get h has been cancelled so you get 1 over substituting h equals to 0 we get cube root of x square plus here we have cube root of x times cube root of x plus this is also cube root of x square right so that means you get 1 over 2, 1, 2, 3, cube root of x squared. Right? So that becomes the derivative of your function. Right? So we can write that the derivative of this function is, let me write down right here, f dash x is equal to 1 over 3 cube root of x squared right so that becomes a function for your derivative correct and that is the method of doing it this is how you rationalize a cube root so i hope that step is absolutely clear now what do you analyze from here can you write domain and range for this it's a function right so what you notice here is that the derivative at any general point is basically a function and you can write its domain and range right so so let's do that part so the domain of f dash x is what it is x belongs to real numbers however you see that is in the denominator x cannot be equal to zero this is important to understand that also tells you that if you're trying to find Equation of a tangent line at the origin, which is here, it is a vertical line. Do you see that? So the derivative does not exist at zero. The function is continuous. However, you do not have derivative at zero. Do you see that? So this is very important note. So this is one of the important things to understand. Second important thing which you should get from here is that... Uh, this is always positive, right? So the derivative is is always positive. So if I draw a tangent line at any point on this particular graph, it is always rising. So that is another very interesting thing. And therefore, from here you can say what is range? So from here, you can say that the range is y belongs to real numbers where y is greater than 0. So that becomes the domain and range of your derivative function. Perfect. Now, there could be many questions based on this, like what we have dealt with. You could actually find uh, equation of a tangent line at any given point, right? So let that be a question for you. So I'll write down a question for you here. So as a practice question for you is write equation of tangent line at x equals to 8, right? So cube root of 8 is 2. So that will give you a nice equation to work with. So I hope with this you understand the cube root function fairly well. 
as a very important function from test point of view. I hope it helps. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.